Good morning. Welcome, y'all. I'm trying to see how best I could make a video with these items. Now, Burlington is on fire. Tip number one. Whenever you go to Burlington to purchase anything, if the items are not marked, ask the cashier kindly if they could use their handheld and scan the products. Not the handheld that's attached to the register. The handheld that they walk around with and scan the products, have them use that handheld. Because these items, once you use the handheld that's attached to the register, or if you scan them by that scanning thing by the register, they're all going to come up a regular price. They have to use the handheld that they walk around in the store with to scan these products. Now, pandemic. You know that a lot of things got delayed during the pandemic. So items that were scheduled to come out for Christmas, the truck is still going to come with these items. But the thing is, they are putting these items on the shelves without marking them. As I mentioned, if you scan this with the handheld that's attached to the register, or if you scan it with that scanning thing at the register where you normally, you know, would scan your item, it is going to ring up regular price. But if the handheld that the, the workers walk around with and scan items, that is your key because that's the, that's the, the device that's going to ring these item up on the clearance price. Now, I went, this is my third, this is my third trip to this Burlington. I went there the first time after I saw everybody on YouTube hauling these items. I totally forgot about Burlington because I was all caught up in Walmart's deals. Now I got a few items the first day I went. I went back another day and I got a few items that weren't marked. If you watch my previous video, I'm going to try and see if I could link it below. I think I had a part one and a part two at Burlington. Now, I went back to Burlington yesterday. Today is Friday. I went back to Burlington on my way home from work yesterday. I hit up two Burlington. The last one I went to, that's near to me, these items are on the shelf. You see all these things I'm showing you here? These items were on the shelf, okay? 99% of these items were not marked. You hear what I'm saying? 99% of these items were not marked. They were just on the shelf. I look at the items and I'm like, this could be Christmas. This could be Valentine's. But that's a chance I took. I put them all in my cart. I'm not going to take one and go to the register. I put them all in my cart. Anything that's in a gift set form that have snowflakes that have that's shiny like those shiny silvery goldish stuff anything that have poinsettias on it anything that remotely looks like a gift set you know that's when most of the gift sets come out christmas so i had my card packed with all of these items. Well, I would say 99% of these items. Maybe I have a few here. Not maybe. I got a few here that I picked up at the first store. So I put all of these in my cart. Went to the cashier. It Luckily, this store was empty. As I said, they weren't marked. And normally the cashier wouldn't be there putting numbers in when they have a line. You have to be considerate if they're is a line you have to be strategic strategic and know how to do this i watched lbe channel and she i think she read she based she's based in tennessee and she went to burlington to get these items and the manager would not sell it to her first of all you have to i'm not saying she was a nice because she's a nice person i'm not telling you all to kiss butts but you have to be a little, I wouldn't say, if, yeah, I could say friendly, but in a good way. 
don't let it look as if you are kissing up whatever you know just be nice to these cashiers because these are things that they can do and these are things that they can, they might not do okay but for them not to sell her certain items because they're telling her these items are in the store for us to purchase and if it's in the store and the item is on clearance whatever the the, the, the price is it's not their concern what the price is is not their concern who's buying the items their concern is to push the product out of the store to make way for new inventory so what i would do lbe what i would do i would actually go to corporate get his name go to corporate i'm sorry in a time like this you don't want anyone to lose their jobs but if you go to purchase something and they're telling you they cannot sell it to you what I would go corporate and complain. Let's get back. Let's get back to the meat of the matter. So, as I said, <clears throat> these items weren't marked. I filled my card up, went to the cashier. There was no line. There was nobody in line. Just the cashier there. She put them in manually. This boom, the sale prices came up. Mark you. These are mis mixed in with Valentine stuff. Let me see where I should start. Let's come right here. You could tell this is Christmas, obviously. These marked down to $4.99 because I believe the original price was $9.99. But these were actually $2.49. The same thing with those 12 days of cocoa. These, actually the cashier said to me, well, the manager, after I purchased all these things, she's like, what are you going to do with these all these items? I told her that I make gift baskets and, you know, stuff like that. I gave her my business card. Yep, I gave her my business card. So she said, um, these wine glasses are back there, but they have um, that Christmas gnome on it. I said, that's okay. I'll still get them. I'll put it on for Christmas. So these were $1.99. Oh, let me see. I'm trying to set this. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to let this. Oh, okay. So these were $1.99. These were $1.99, these glasses. And it have the the eye thingy, whatever, the eye mask that says he knows when you're he knows when you're sleeping. That's what it says. Oh no, he knows when you're awake. Whew. These were also $1.99. This is the wine glass with a pair of socks. These Betsy Johnson, these were about 99. Mark you, nothing here. The only thing here that's over, nothing here is over 349. There's one item that is are two items that were 499, and I'll show you which two. Everything else was under, was 349 and under. You heard what I said? 349 and under. Only two items were $4.99. Okay, these beer kitties booties, these were normally $5.99. These were $1.49. These beard oil trio, this is broken. This was $1.49. This Nautica complete grooming collection, $2.99. This Ed Hardy set. Well, $3.99. Nothing over $3.99. My bad. $3.99. These manicure gift sets, a buck forty-nine. Who child, these are on the floor. <laughs> I just realized I'm not that young cat anymore. Okay. Okay, let's go back down. These knees ain't holding me up like they used to. This okay. Let's put her up here. This Highland Natural. This is a mug that says blessed with a scented foot cream. This was $1.99. I have two of them. Oh, I heard my knees cracked. These candles, two-week candles, poinsettias are poinsettia. Depends on how you pronounce it. These, these right here, I have four of them. These were normally these were 
These were normally $9.99. These were $2.49. Let me get. Hold on, guys. Okay, these candles that says, let me zoom in. Sugared vanilla and cinnamon. These were normally $6.99. These were $1.49. These Ben Sherman grooming set for men. Most of these are not marked the clearance price because what the cashier did, as soon as she put the numbers in and the price comes up, she just scanned it for that price. This was normally, I'm all out of frame, guys. This was normally $9.99. This was ringing up $1.49. And I have two of them. This have the body care set for men. It have the body spray, the shower gel, the body scrub, body lotion, and the shower sponge. I have two of those. This LA Colors, I'm, I'm going to look for the receipt and show you all in a minute. This LA Colors manicure set, as I said, this could be Valentine's Day. But because of the, even though this is like a peachy bow. But the fact that it's a bow, this is Christmas. This was normally $3.99. This was 99 cents. And with this, you have one, two, three nail color and purple nail gems. Okay, let's see what else. I'm trying you all. It's a lot of stuff. As you could tell, it's a lot of stuff. Okay. You have this brand, Brookstone. It's the heated relief warming slippers. This was normally $12.99. As a matter of fact, this was $1.49. Warming slippers. I got this in the men's section. It's aromatherapy collection, cedarwood scented. And yes, I could smell it. Okay, this Dove Men Care set. Let me zoom out. This Dove Men Care set, this, I saw this, it was a part. It says it have sports activity, body wash, and a sock gift set. Now, the sock was one place and the body wash was in another place so i found it because when i saw this i'm like i gotta find the entire thing and this was normally 7.99 this was 1.99 okay i'm moving them as we go okay this foot care duo set this have the socks and the i guess that's the foot lotion it's in, infused with moisturizing shea butter and argan oil. This was normally $4.99. This was $1.49. This was $1.49. This winter citrus bath scrub and loafer sponge. This was normally $4.99. This was $1.49. And I have two of them. I don't know why I bought this gift box, like a wine box. This was 99 cents regular, I believe $3.99. Let's move you out of the way. This Merry and Bright Bath Care gift set with a reusable cup. I'm not sure what the regular price was. It looked as if it was something like $6.99. This was $1.49. You have this Jewel, Jewel Bliss Paris Hilton 28-piece eyeshadow and eye highlighter pack, packet. This was actually $2.49 regular. Look as if it was $9.99, $2.49. This is what I was shocked about. This Gorgeous Glow by My Beauty Spot. This is Bubble Bath with Ear Muff. As I said, nothing on this look Christmas, but because of the, I would just say the sparkles that's on here. This was actually $1.99. This was normally $7.99. This was $1.99. So if you see this item, pick it up. What else? 
this winterberry soothing hand lotion or hand soap this was normally $3.99 this was 99 cents this double pack this double pack this is by the brand Taylor and Finch this is Australian infused um, lotion and hand wash coconut and goat milk hmm this was normally $7.99 this was $1.99 What's this? This very, very term. However, the heck you pronounce this. This is by Champion. It's a woman's pants. Stretch, wick, wicking, vapor, extemp, whatever this is. It's a high activity protection brush back. Well, this is small. This is what it looks like. But it says warmer. Okay, whatever this is. This was normally $7.99. It was $1.79. I guess it's like a maybe a thermal looking pants. I don't know. Let's show you other things before we get to the gift sets. Did I show you guys this? This um candle? I think I did. This Baby, it's cold outside, falling snow, hand wash. This was regularly $4.99. This was $1.49. I don't know why these different prices. But look at this. This, matter of fact, I'm sorry, this was 99 cents. This is the two piece in that little dish. This was $1.99. Not sure what the regular price was. Sorry about that. Okay. Where were we? Okay, let's get to this my beauty spot foot care set this have a lotion and a sock this was normally 349 this was actually 149 this you see what i'm saying guys with the glitter on these products this doesn't this could be for christmas it could be for valentine's day because of the color now this is a six piece grooming set this was regularly $5.99. This was a buck forty-nine. I don't understand the variation of these prices. Like sometimes it doesn't matter how expensive the item is, it comes down to $149. Okay, this was $149. This item, this item is a gimme. The only thing that scream Christmas is the um the peppermint on here. This could easily be for um, Valentine's Day. Wishes and kiss, kisses. This is a six piece, six piece, five piece flawless face set. This was normally six ninety nine. This was one ninety nine. This was one ninety nine. No, this was one forty nine. This was one forty nine. This holiday gift box. This was ninety nine cents. I could have done better, but I just love how it looks. This is by the brand Nanette. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. This, you have a foot lotion in the scent, I think, Peony. The socks smell good too. It's, it's very plush, feel very soft. So this have the foot lotion and the cozy socks. This was normally $4.99. This was $1.49. I have two of them. Here's another one by the same brand, Nanette. This is, what is this? Foot soak and the socks. It's in a little pouch. This was normally $5.99. This was $1.49. You see what I'm talking about? The variation of the prices. It's weird. I have four of these. One, two, three, four. This brush set right here. This is a four-piece brush set with clear organizer. So it's a clear organizer with some pearls inside. This, I'm not sure what the regular price was, but this marked down to $2.99. This I got at the first store I went to. This was $2.99. This mug, I got this from the first Burlington I went to. It says to and from, and this, you could say these are pine trees. <clears throat> This says blessed, blessed or blessed grandma. 
and blessed grandpa. This was normally $5.99. This rang up $1.99. It's what I'm talking about, the variation. This is $1.99. And I have two of them. No, $1.49, my bad. $1.49. $1.49. Okay, do I finish with everything out here? Okay, let's let's try and come back here. Okay, this Holiday Wonders Belgium Chocolate Coffee Truffles. This was regularly, I'm not sure, but it was $1.49. And this doesn't expire until March 2024. Another thing, guys, I'm not sure how long chocolates will last. I'm not sure. And I don't want to buy chocolate from now that doesn't expire until 2024 for this Christmas. I don't know how long, you know, they would last because coming on to summer, even though they're going to be kept, I'm going to keep it in a cool place. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do a trial and everything. I'm going to save a few of them in a cool spot until Christmas and see what happens. Then if it stays good, then Christmas this this year, I'll be buying chocolate for the following Christmas, if that makes sense. Okay, what else? What else? What else? I have so much stuff I'm here trying to figure out which one next. Okay, these baby, these baby seven piece hand cream set. This was normally six forty nine. This was one ninety nine. The baby was one ninety no one forty nine for the baby. These were one forty nine. As I as you as you could tell, look at look on this. This doesn't have anything that says Christmas, but because of the glittery stuff on there, I figured this was a clearance item. So one forty nine. I have the baby, and I have the Betsy Johnson, and I I have two in the Betsy Johnson, and two in the Nanette. Okay, this mug set that says, did I, I think I did this already. Natural, hello, gorgeous. That was $7.99, which was, I believe, $1.49. I did this already. I did this already. Okay, let's go. This set, it's, it's a shower essential collection. You have the bat brush, there's a bat brush in here. Oh, yeah. It's by Ellen Tracy. You have the bat brush. You have the body lotion, the travel pouch, shower cap, hair brush, and loafer. This was normally $12.99. This was ringing up one, I believe, $1.99. Oh, there's $1.99 fell off. $1.99. Now, these... Let me get up off my rump. These um, Bebe collection. I have two for six of them. Let me come closer. Then. Let me come closer. I didn't realize how hard this was trying to film with everything like that. This, you have the scented body wash. You might not see because the light is reflecting on this. The scented body wash. The nourishing, nourishing collagen and shea, shea butter. Then that's a body mist over there. A loafer sponge and this nice pouch. This was normally $7.99. These were a buck ninety-nine. I got this from one store. So I have six of these. Oh, child. Okay, this is by, all these is by the brand Nanette. This is, this is a five-piece hand cream set. These were $149, normally $7.99. I have four of these, two with the purple bow and two with the burgundy bow. Okay, let's move, let's move things out the way. Okay, this baby, this have the body butter, 
body spray, body wash, a bath bomb or a bath scissor. You see this says four piece holiday bath gift set. I didn't even realize it says holiday. This is a big giveaway. This was normally $5.99. This was $1.49. And I have three of them. One, two, three. This is a pretty box. <laughs> I don't know why. 99 cents. I just love the box. 99 cents. These Rachel Roy. This is such a ripoff. Rachel Roy set. This is a foot care set. You have the foot cream, foot scrub, foot soak. And it, it's, it includes a comfy slippers and toe separators. This is scented. This was on the shelf. I thought this was Chris Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving. I thought this was Valentine's Day, but there's this bow on here. This was actually $2.99. I think $2.99. It was normally $12.99. I have one, two, three, four of them. This set. This is the, this have the foot cream, foot soak, and this pair of socks, not socks, slippers. This was normally $12.99. This was $2.99. Guys, this is all on my living room floor, okay? Soon I will not be able to walk. Okay. This, this says totally pampered. This have a eye, a eye mask, a pair of bed slippers, the foot cream and the foot lotion. This was normally $12.99. This was $2.99. Oh, my video got cut off. I'm going to end this. This is a sure sign that I should get off now. So with that being said, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a safe and productive one, and I'll catch you in another video. Let me know which item is your favorite in this haul. This haul is one of my best haul ever. Don't you agree, guys? Take care, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.